cheese pull. Yes, look at that, right to the roof. Beautiful day. Good morning, everybody. How you guys doing? Uh, slept really well last night, except for the, the rain and parking underneath this tree. Wasn't such a good idea because the rain ran off from the tree, hitting the top, and from here as well, it just made it sound like somebody was smacking the top of my car uh, for about two hours last night. So, as you can see, all the debris from the rainstorm. Yeah, there's a lot of thunder and lightning. That's probably the biggest uh, lightning show we had this year. Um, a lot of times we had lightning and thunder and it was uh, short lived. It was just a few strikes here and there. But uh, last night was a full on light show. Just before it got here, I got down to the dock because uh, I saw the flashes in the distance. So I went down to the dock to get some really cool footage. And uh, then you could hear the rain coming like across the lake i'm like oh, so i like beeline it back here because i didn't want to get wet and then have to sit in the car uh like that so it just adds to the humidity in the car so i got back here just in time so uh this morning uh we are recharging all of our batteries and things so let me take you in for a little quick tour so uh, i guess i forgot to charge this fully uh before i left on my adventure so right now I've got it charging on the Jackery 500 and it's pulling eight watts right now. Um, and so that hopefully will charge up before we get too far into our day. Uh, over here I got my laptop charging off the Jackery 1500. Uh, at the moment I just have the uh, DC unplugged uh, just because I don't need that to be super cold right now and i want that to charge more importantly than keep keeping one or two pops cold uh one of the reasons i did keep it plugged in all last night because i wanted to get this down to like 40 percent and then today uh we are going to be doing some really cool foods at a place called cheeses murphy and the grateful bread and it's like a a sandwich truck and it's part of a landscaping company and uh, they have their truck permanently set up there and I believe they open at 9 uh, so we'll go over there and check that out but we're also going to be um, trying to get power back into that thing with our four brand new 100 watt solar panels and we'll try and see how long it takes to get you know 20 10 to 20 to 30 percent more power back into this thing uh trying to be uh sustainable i guess i'm not sure if that's the right word uh try to see if if you were to do like i say a three or four or five day camping adventure and you really wanted to rely just 100 percent on the jackery uh as long as you had good weather and as long as you weren't in a deep forest kind of thing uh I'm, what i'm hoping for is if this charges within like a couple hours like fully um even three hours imagine just three hours every single day just unplugging everything just for three hours putting the jackery out there setting up all your solar panels and then it charged right back up to 100 percent um and that way you're cooler which is the main thing it seems uh needs to be on all the time to keep your foods and drinks and stuff cold um so if that's the case then i think uh you'd be you'd be doing really really well and the fact that i've got the 1500 and the 500 that's going to help out even more so i uh, look forward to that uh, but right now it's going to get freshen up and uh, then we'll go find this uh, cheeses murphy and the grateful bread it's going to be fun <laughs>
t-shirts and hats, pillows, floaties, sunglasses, cool. Nice clotted glasses, plastic, so you don't break it on the dock. Wine glasses, plastic again, napkins, hmm. bikinis, clothing, ladies stuff, They're very large coats. <laughs> So Heidi's also rents boats, and this is one of the boats that they rent. This had, I think, a 60 horsepower on it. That's all you really need, but he said the 90 is a little bit nicer to drive around. But uh, I think they're like about $350 a day. So you'd have to totally make a whole day out of it. <laughs> yeah, this one had the, what on the back? The 60. And then they also rent this boat and the jet ski. He said this one's nice and easy to drive, easy to park. And then they rent that out as also. And I had no idea that these things had a reverse on them. He just told me that parking these things is so much easier now than a long time ago when you only had a forward. Look, it's, <laughs> it's all filled up with water. But I think they rent that one too. But like I said, we're coming back for ice cream later. now would be a great time to try and charge up the jackery so i drove to the other side of the river so that was the park that we were at yesterday and uh, that was the marina just on the other side of this so the sun is coming up here and it's probably just going to continue going west of course so i figured this would be a great spot to set up my jackery and the solar panels and uh let's set it all up and we'll see how quickly the jacket recharges. What did I get it down to? 46%. So I just unplugged everything. Uh, I did get some power. I think I got about half my power back into my laptop. So that's good enough for now. I'm gonna continue plugging these in over here. Definitely need my GoPro batteries for later on. And uh, this is still at 30%. So I have to obviously wait a little bit longer. It does take a long time even at home, plugged into a wall. So right there. We'll grab this beast. The beast. I'm thinking it's about 30, maybe 35 pounds. Wow, it's a, it's a big one. It's a big one. What we're gonna do first is get out our adapters out of the pack here. So these little Velcro Things to keep everything organized, which is definitely going to, come, going to come in handy. Plug that one in. Number two, we won't need anything else from here until later. Another thing too is you can't leave the jackery in the sun. So I'm going to go, uh, after I plug everything in and show you guys, uh, I'm going to grab a blanket or a towel and put it over top and uh, that will stop the jackery from overheating. Now 
Number one, plugging in. It is pulling 22 watts so far. 63, 84. That's not bad. That was better than when we were in the uh, Costco parking lot. It was only getting 73. So I'm not sure if there was like a haze in this guy. So right now we're getting 76. The sun's in the perfect spot. I'm gonna get the cable out properly this time. Before. Double plug. Okay. Come on, buddy. Throw up to 167 watts. Oh, it also said, let me just unplug one of them for a second. So it's saying with the one solar panel, it's going to take 11 hours to charge this Jackery back up. Let's see what happens when we plug in number two. So it's going to jump to 166 watts eight hours might change I'm just waiting to see if it changes okay eight hours so let's plug this in maybe it'll do it in two maybe three hours if we plug in all the Jackery uh, solar panels Now we're at 243 watts, and it's gonna take five and a half hours to fully charge this Jackery. Panel number four. Plug in number four. All right, with four solar panels on, we are up to 290 watts of power. It's gonna take three and a half hours to fully charge back up to 100%. Um, but again, I'd love to do an experiment in the future where we get this thing down to like 10 or 5% and see how long it takes. I guess it would take six hours maybe. So it's 22 after nine. We'll see how much power we get uh, in the next hour. All right. All right, time to do another check. It is almost 10 o'clock. The sun has obviously moved a little bit, so I tipped my uh, solar panels over a little bit. There was a little puff cloud that went by and it dropped the wattage down a lot. But uh, as long as there's no clouds, we're getting like 338 watts of power and it's gonna take two hours and four, 2.4 hours. Sorry about the reflection, guys. <laughs> but it's gonna take 2.4 hours to fully charge. We're up to 58%, which is great. A couple ladies came by and were inquiring and so I just let them know and they loved the idea. Another thing I'm doing, instead of putting a blanket over it, because I think it needs to breathe, actually it is. You can feel the air coming out of here, so there is a fan in there trying to keep it cool. So what I do is I keep it right behind one of the solar panels and that keeps the, uh, the Jackery cool and safe. Time for a swim. Let's leave that open. Pretty safe town. to enjoy myself while the Jackery's working its butt off. <laughs> is definitely helping pass the time. What a refreshing treat. Well, since we're here, since a lot of people probably swim here, there might be some lost items along this dock. So I've got my gear. This this time, I first time I brought my uh, flippers along, which definitely helps propel me through the water. I can cover more ground underwater. I've got my mask and snorkel. Let's go see if we can find anything cool.
pag <laughs> Quite a few bass. Small, let's see if we can find a big one. Here's all the stuff that I found in the lake. We found a beer can. Of course, this lure. And again, I'm glad the hook's all rusted off. A Carlsberg cup. Uh, a pop bottle, looks like a Sprite. And looks it's all full of rocks for whatever reason. And I'm guessing somebody filled it with rocks and then threw it in the, in the lake for no reason whatsoever. And then Saturday, August 12th, 2012. So that's been in the lake for quite a long time. And then this is like a long sleeve shirt. Uh, I couldn't find a logo or anything on it. So uh, if you're missing a shirt, I found it. It'll be in that trash can. <laughs> Come and get it. All changed back into my normal clothes. Letting all that stuff dry before I pack it away. And uh, we keep getting cloud and then sun and then cloud so it's going to mess up our time for how long we think this is going to take so right now it was down to 220 see as soon as that cloud hit dropped to 131 so it's, going to, it's saying it's going to take two hours but we're at 82 percent which is pretty good um yeah see that 385 watts dropped to an hour less so I think we're gonna hang in a little bit longer and uh, then we'll get lunch. cloud just moved in so uh, let's see how much power we accumulated well we had the Sun so we were down to 39 watts it's gonna take eight hours now because of that cloud uh, not much is getting through we're up to 88% that's good enough for now let's pack it up and go get some food Stop time lapse. Let's get going. Cheeses Murphy, I am hungry. Speaking of Cheeses Murphy, let's get some. Cheeses Murphy food truck open. I said it's part of the season to season market garden place. And it looks like people are lining up. Get their cheeses. <laughs> cheeses Murphy and the Grateful Bread, the cheesiest place around. But the food's good. Check out this menu. Canadian cheeses, baby cheeses, lard, tundra, and cheeses. I think I'm gonna have to do this uh, lard, tundra, and cheeses 
mounds of black forest ham, provolone, mozzarella, and Swiss shredded dill pickles finished with ranch. Yeah, let's do that. I love to get that large tundran cheeses, uh, large, full, uh, small poutine, and uh, I guess a Coke would be great. Thank you. Couldn't resist a poutine and a Coke. And then she is so busy here. We obviously, people all lined up over there. Uh, people in cars everywhere. So they give you this little thing. It'll, it's a beeper. It'll go off. That's when my order is ready. Until then, we're just going to sit back, relax, and just smell the good food. Excellent. Looks great. Thank you. Everything you need is just around the side on the table. Thanks. I don't think I'm going to need anything. This looks amazing. Maybe a fork. All right, guys, this is the Lord Tundra and Cheeses with a side of poutine. I went small for the poutine. I just can't refuse a poutine when it's sitting there on a beautiful little food truck. They make the best poutine. I've been telling people that for years. Oh yeah. Wet the whistle with a little bit of Coke. Check out this super close up of the lard tundra and cheeses with a side order of poutine. Check out those fries, cheese curds, gravy. And over here we've got our grill to perfection sandwich. Oh my gosh. I've been looking forward to this for weeks once I found out about this place. Look how much stuff they put on that sandwich. That is a thick, crunchy, amazing looking sandwich. What do you think, guys? Oh my gosh. And they give me a pickle on the side. I'll try and eat it. I'm not. Just pickles all by themselves. Eh. Pickles in something? Yeah, it usually works. I'll do it. Let's eat. Look how grilled that is. I think they got something here, man. I'm sure if they uh, franchised out, they'd do well. Cheers. Mm. The Black Forest ham, along with the cheeses, and this uh, diced up pickle. Wow. Did you hear that crunch? Let's see if we can do it again. Mm-hmm, that is phenomenal. And there's some ranch on there too. Tying it all together, check out that ranch. I'm going in for another big crunch. Mm. You'd never wanna do a half, never. The only way I do a half is if I wanted to mix it up. Do like half of baby cheeses and half lard tundra and cheeses. And that way you get a little bit of everything. You know what I'm saying? That's so good. There's nothing wrong with this whatsoever, people. What a great taste. Very messy. You might want to eat it at the table. I'm not in your car, although I'm doing half decent job, all that experience of eating crazy things in my car. Does anybody remember the craziest thing I ever ate in my car? Leave it in the comment section below. The messiest thing I ever ate in my car. Start riding. I'm going to keep eating. Going in for this poutine. Oh, cheese pull. Yes, look at that. Right to the roof. That is an amazing cheese pull right there. Very cheesy, gravy-induced, infused is the right word. Unbelievable. Cheese pulls everywhere. Fantastic. Oh, yeah. 
Oh my gosh. Every pull is a cheese pull. I'm just trying to eat, man. I'm giving both arms exercise and pairing it up with a Coke. Brilliant. Why, oh, thank you, Ken. You're welcome, Ken. Gotta come to Bayesville, people, if you want to experience beautiful food like this. Do a do two day trip. Cast iron restaurant. Jesus, I'll come here for lunch. Cast iron for dinner. You're set. Once again, I'm going to polish all this stuff off and then we'll go grab uh, some ice. Oh, they've got deep fried cheesecake here. I saw that on their menu. Where is it? I don't think it's on the big menu. It's like on the side somewhere. Deep fried cheesecake. Let's do that. Do this first. Well, now there's a huge lineup and uh, I don't want to wait around that long for deep fried cheesecake. So we are going to try and get out of here because there's a guy parked diagonally behind me because he was getting some topsoil and stuff, which is fine. And this guy pulled in beside me there. No big deal. He's leaving. So we're good. So let's go back to that marina and get that ice cream that we we're hoping to get. I'm not sure if I pull around fast enough here or far enough. You can see there's like five teenagers, young adults, let's call them, in line. And they're probably going to order a lot of food. It's going to take forever. So let's go get an ice cream from the marina. Baysville. Stick with my favorite uh, chocolate chip cookie dough, and we'll do uh, medium, please. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna do a cup, please. Yeah. Looks like other people like it too. <laughs> That's perfect. Thank you. Thank you very much. You too. That look yummy or what? Oh yeah. All right, let's get into this. One of my favorite ice creams, as you guys know. It looks like a lot of other people like it too, because that bin was almost empty. I'm getting the end of the summer scraps, <laughs> but it still tastes good. Oh yeah, sitting on this beautiful dock, looking at this beautiful scenery eating this awesome ice cream and hanging out with you guys. It doesn't get any better than that, does it? I don't think so. Almost every bite has a little chunk of cookie dough. Delicious. So let me know what you guys did on this Monday afternoon. Hopefully you got to eat some great food and get to see amazing scenery like this. Well, that's all I got for you guys today on this episode. I hope you enjoyed hanging out with me in Baysville for two days. Uh, yesterday was awesome. Today was even better. And uh, again, knocking off the day, finishing off the day with a cup of ice cream. That just definitely is the cherry on top. So thank you very much for watching my videos, commenting, liking. Thanks to all my members, uh, channel members on this channel, my vlog channel, and of course, all my Patreons, you guys all rock. And if you wanna show your support for this particular video, hit it with a thumbs up, ding, 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 ding. But if you're hungry for more, check out that amazing playlist I put down over there for you to watch, and we'll see you over there. Bring your hunger.